Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. Um, as we're talking a lot uh, on this show about what is happening in Syria and Saudi Arabia and Yemen, I want to refer to an article that was in the IB Times that came out uh, in uh, about three years ago, uh, March, excuse me, May uh, 26th of uh, 2015 by David Sirota and Andrew Perez. And it talks about um, Clinton Foundation donors got weapons deals from Hillary Clinton's State Department. And this is under Obama. This is her. I mean, this is like how corrupt the Clintons are. And when, when people say, you know, Trump is awful and he had the Klan supported him. Yeah, he's scary. The Klan backed him. And if you voted for Trump, you, you voted for people, the Klan. I mean, that's, that's awful. That's a real thing. That's very scary. But I'm sorry. I'm not going to just pretend that Hillary isn't part of this awful war machine. And while the Klan is awful and racist and scary, I don't know what's worse. Drone strikes in the Middle East. We don't have You've never seen that. So Trump's awful, racist, sexist um, rhetoric and now policy is, is horrifying, but look, this is so egregious. I'm sorry. The Democratic Party knew how unelectable she was in 2008, and they forced her down her throat. And neocons and defense contractors were actually excited about her being president because of stuff like this, right? The Clinton State Department approved 165 billion worth of commercial arms sales to 20 nations whose governments had given millions to the Clinton Foundation. This isn't conspiratorial. When you donate large amounts of money to a non-for-profit under uh, over a certain amount, you have to declare it. It's a matter of, of uh, it's, 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 um, Public record. It's a matter of public record. Um, a consortium of American defense contractors led by Boeing would deliver $29 billion worth of advanced fighter jets to the United States oil-rich ally in the Middle East, Saudi Arabia. Um, Israeli officials were agitated, reportedly complaining to the Obama administration that the substantial enhancement to Saudi air power risked disrupting the region's fat fragile balance of power. The deal appeared to collide with State Department's documented concerns about the repressive policies of the Saudi royal family. We know how oppressive the Saudis are, and yet we sell them weapons and we get their oil. Right? In the years before Hillary Clinton became Secretary of State, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia contributed at least $10 million to the Clinton Foundation. Why are the Saudis giving $10 million to the Clinton Foundation? They're that concerned with, with getting, you know, uh, resources to Haiti that actually we know from people in Haiti that the Clinton money just went for like some hotels and it didn't help people in Haiti. This oppressive regime, why would they donate to the Clinton Foundation? I'll tell you why. She thought she was going to be president in 2008. When she wasn't, she went to the Obamas and said, hey, she's in your cabinet and she's next in line. And that's that. Because that's how the Clinton Foundation makes their money. The Clintons have a lot of power and influence. And she was like, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the first president. I'm going to be the first female president. I will be president. So your money's safe with us. I'll get your defense deals and your banking money. I'll get it done. So they give money to the Clinton Foundation. That's why they pay their daughter $100 million a year to run it. Um, just two months before the deal was finalized, Boeing, the defense contractor that manufactures one of the fighter jets that the Saudis were especially keen to acquire, the F-15, contributed $900,000 to the Clinton Foundation, according to a company press release. Again, this isn't conspiracy. This is a matter of public record. Um, the Saudi deal was one of dozens of arms sales approved by Hillary Clinton's State Department that placed weapons in the hands of governments that had also donated money to the Clinton family philanthropic empire. 
Under the Clinton leadership, State Department approved $165 billion worth of commercial arms sales to 20 nations whose governments had given money to the Clinton Foundation. According to IBT Times' analysis of State Department and Foundation data, that figure derived from three full fiscal years of Clinton's term as Secretary of State, October 10 to September 12, representing nearly double the value of American arms sales made by those countries and approved by the State Department during the same period of George W. Bush's second term. How come you independents and you Bernie supporters didn't vote for her in the general? You gave us Trump. Look at how corrupt and awful this is. She's part of the war machine. She's part of, this is horrible. This is, this is you know how many lives she's ruined in the Middle East? You want to stack? Well, the clan, the clan is awful. The, the clan is horrible. White supremacists, they're scary. They're in this country. They're heavily armed. It's very scary. You want to see what a drone strike does? You ever seen your kid get blown up because the drone strike hit the house next to yours? This is why it was, oh, the lesser of two evils. It's still evil. It's still evil. Um... The Clinton-led State Department also authorized $151 billion of separate Pentagon broker deals for 16 of the countries that donated to the Clinton Foundation, resulting in a 143% increase in completed sales to those nations over the same time frame during the Bush administration. She did more weapon sales than Bush. Get out of this two-party thing. Any liberals watching, get out of this. Look. Get out of this. And, oh, you voted for Jill Stein. You may... No, Jill Stein's not a Russian operative. She's not a Russian operative. That's red-baiting nonsense. This is why I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. Not because I don't think women can be leaders. I'd love to see Tulsi Gabbard as a president or Nina Turner. This is corruption. Um... American defense contractors also donated to the Clinton Foundation. While Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State and in some cases made personal payments to Bill Clinton for speaking engagements, such firms and their subsidiaries were listed as contractors in $163 billion worth of Pentagon-negotiated deals that were authorized by the Clinton State Department between 2009 and 2012. The State Department formally approved these arms sales even as many of the deals enhanced the military power of countries ruled by authoritarian regimes whose human rights abuses had been criticized by the department. Algeria, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates, Oman, and Qatar, all donated to the Clinton Foundation. All, hum all human rights violations. Doing a little construction in my building. I hope that's not too loud. <laughs> So this is just, I mean, if you read this whole article, it's very lengthy. It just shows um, Boeing donated $5 million. General Electric donated a million dollars to the Clinton Foundation. Goldman Sachs, 500000 Honeywell, fifty grand. Lockheed Martin, $250,000. Really? Totalitarian, brutal Middle Eastern regimes and defense contractors are all donating to the same I'm sure and I'm sure he's going well we donate to many foundations really this much money how much money did you give to the Sierra Club Boeing World Wildlife Federation you dropped a million for them too I'm sure you did right if you're going to give a million to the Clinton Foundation then you're absolutely going to support Doctors Without Borders the same amount of money right Children's Defense Fund. I'm sure you dropped a million on that, right, Boeing? Just boom, millions across for everybody. This filthy greed disgusts me. As awful and as evil as Trump is, I have zero regret for voting for Bernie Sanders in the primary and zero regret for voting for Jill Stein in the general. This is filthy, war-profiting, criminal behavior. Fuck Trump and fuck the Clintons. And fuck the two parties. Thanks for watching the show.